Uh, we have a system where the fusion of political and economic power has led to uh, the creation of basically a kind of corrupt system, a corrupt system whereby everything that happens, whether it's what happens in the state, in the political sphere, in the economic sphere, ends up benefiting the interests of those at the very top of society. The solution to this isn't to say, right, well, we need the state to do more stuff or we need the market to do more stuff. The solution is putting power back in the hands of ordinary people. And this is really the big, the big divide, the big challenge, the big battle of our era. Because as we move from the world of the pandemic into the post-pandemic world, all of the big divides, the big questions, the big debates are going to be about who benefits from this transition. Will it be the powerful, those at the very top of, the, of our society, the ones who make most of the decisions about who gets what, about our laws, about employment, about jobs, about investment, about innovation, or will it be the vast majority of people who have very little say over those decisions? Who mum?